Happy Tutorial Tuesday, everybody! You're watching Art with Bianca. Let's start with what you will need. Acrylic flow paint, plastic dollar store shot glasses, larger plastic cups, flow trawl, a blow dryer, and your canvases. Don't forget to wear gloves! How to mix your paint. For this, you might want to start with a scale. I would also usually use a sifter so that we don't have any clumps in the flow trawl, but since it's so small, I'm going to try to just pour it and see how it goes. Make sure to shake it really well to make sure that there won't be any clumps. This is a pretty new bottle, so there shouldn't be clumps, but sometimes there are. For these little shot glasses, I'm going to do a ratio of 10 grams of Floetrol and 5 grams of paint. You're going to do the same thing with all of your colors, and I'll show you which ones I'm using right now. Cerise Pink. Rose pink, lavender, neon purple, and gold. This is what it will look like when you have all of your colors mixed. And next I will show you how I will mix my base colors. I'm going to do a ratio of 100 grams of Floetrol and 50 grams of paint. I always love doing black and white for my base. For my white, I use Artist Loft White Acrylic Flow Paint. For my black, I'm using Studio 71 acrylic flow paint. This is one of my favorite parts. Look at how pretty this looks! It almost looks like an acrylic pour painting all by itself. Ooh, nice. After you're done playing though, let's mix it all up. <laughs> Time to lay down your canvas and prepare your base. I like to use a plastic spatula to spread my paint. It's okay if the middle is a little thin on paint because you're going to be pouring a whole bunch of paint on it. With our beautifully mixed paint, let's begin. Now it's time to flood your canvas. I didn't have to remix any paint, so your ratio of 100 to 50 
should be enough for both the base and the flooding. Remember you want to blow the flood paint over the colors that you're using until there's a little line. And this is where you're going to start seeing those cells come up and all of these beautiful little intricacies. Ooh, you could already see the paint start to separate. It looks so beautiful. Now it's time to bring in the blowtorch. This pops any bubbles and makes sure you have nicely defined cells. Man, I know this is like watching paint dry and it's supposed to be really boring, but I absolutely love it. Once you've waited a couple minutes, it's time to blow it out. Man, this color mixture was really gorgeous. If there are any spots that you see pooling paint, I suggest going ahead and blowing it out with your mouth. And this is what the finished product looks like. It turned out beautifully. I am super excited about it. Thank you for watching Art with Bianca. If you enjoyed this video, we would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and share with all of your friends.